The DJI Pocket 3 is finally here, and since I already made an introduction video talking about what's new with this camera, let's talk about the accessories that you might want to get for the Pocket 3. I'm going to go over every single official accessory that DJI has released, including everything inside of the standard combo and the creator combo. We're actually going to do a little unboxing of the creator combo. Plus, I'll talk about all of the extra accessories that you have to buy separately. And I'll conclude whether I think the DJI Pocket 3 Creator Combo is worth it or not. Plus tell you a few extra must-have accessories that I think you should definitely get if you're going to get this camera. So first off, let's go over everything that's in the standard combo, which is 520 US dollars and the only way that you can get the Pocket 3. But the standard combo comes with the Pocket 3, a USB-C to USB-C cable, a protective cover, a wrist strap, and a handle. So the USB-C to USB-C cable is for charging the camera. It comes with a built-in rechargeable battery that is not removable, unfortunately, but we'll talk a little bit more about that later on in this video. But the battery, when it's fully charged, it'll last for about two hours. We also have this pretty robust cover. It really only fits on one side of the camera, so part of it is exposed, but it gives you some pretty good protection and also makes sure that the camera is pretty stable. It also has some spots for storing a few extra accessories that are coming with the Creator Combo, so we'll talk a little bit more about this later on in this video as well. The wrist strap, pretty self-explanatory, but on the side of the camera down here, there's a little loop where you can attach the wrist strap if you want to use it. And finally, we have the handle with the quarter 20 thread. So the Pocket 3 itself has a USB-C port on the bottom for, you know, charging the camera. And so this little handle has a USB-C connector and you just attach it like this. And you have a quarter 20 thread on the bottom for attaching a mini tripod or accessory. And you also still have the USB-C port over here. So you can still charge the camera using this little handle. Now for 150 US dollars more, you can get the creator combo for $670. So for that, you get everything that's included in the standard combo, plus a carrying bag, a mini tripod, a wide-angle lens, a battery handle, and the DJI Mic 2 transmitter, plus the windscreen and the magnetic clip mount. So the carrying bag is lightweight, it's compact, it's zippered, and it's sectioned off for all of the pieces here of the Creator Combo to fit nicely inside. Uh, I actually added a little carabiner so that I can attach it to my little shoulder bag, and it's actually a really nice way to carry the DJI Pocket 3. The mini tripod is a mini tripod. There's really nothing much to say about it. It does not extend, it's just a flat, tiny little tripod that is truly mini. The wide angle lens, there's actually a place inside of this protective holder to magnetically store the lens when you're not using it. You can just pull it out and attach it to the front of the Pocket 3 lens whenever you need it. What's nice about it is that it expands the FOV or field of view to 108 degrees. So it goes from roughly 20 millimeters to about 15 millimeters, which can be really handy for those of us who intend to vlog with the Pocket 3. It really turns it into the ideal vlogging camera, in my opinion. Next is the battery handle. So like I mentioned earlier, the Pocket 3 has a battery that is built in and non-removable. It's a 1300 milliamp hour battery that lets you record about 166 minutes at 1080p or 116 minutes at 4K60. So this battery handle is kind of a workaround for not being able to replace the battery inside of the Pocket 3. The handle has a built-in 950 milliamp hour battery, which increases the runtime of the Pocket 3 by about 62%. It also has a USB-C port on the back because when you do connect it to the bottom of this camera, you cover up the USB-C port, but you've still got it on the front of the handle here. And you also gain the quarter 20 thread on the bottom of the handle. And it also really extends the grip of the Pocket 3. So again, nice for those of you with bigger hands. And actually, even though I have smaller hands, I like how this extends the grip because this way, my fingers aren't gonna accidentally touch the record button or the joystick, which is pretty likely to happen if I'm holding the camera without the grip here. And finally, the Pocket 3 Creator Combo includes the DJI Mic 2 transmitter, plus a furry windscreen for wind protection and a magnetic clip so that you can attach it to your shirt just like that. And so this is really nice because the receiver of this wireless microphone is actually built into the Pocket 3. So you don't have to add a physical receiver to the camera like you would if you're using other mic systems like the DJI Microphone or the Rode Wireless Pro or the Rode Wireless Go 2. 
By the way, all of those mic systems do work with this camera. I'll talk a little bit more about the compatibility and how it works later on in this video, but it is indeed possible. But the best way to get a wireless transmitter if you don't already own one would be to get that creator combo. Now the transmitter has a runtime of six hours and also comes with eight gigabytes of onboard storage to store up to 14 hours of 24-bit audio without compression. The wireless mic transmitter can also be clipped to the top of the protective handle for easy storage. All right, so that was the unboxing of the Creator Combo. Before I talk about whether the Creator Combo is worth it or not, let's talk about four additional accessories that you have to buy separately. They don't come with the Standard Combo or the Creator Combo. First is the Black Mist filter, which again fits inside of this protective handle. There's a little piece here so it can magnetically be stored in there, but it's a small filter. It costs 49 US dollars and it helps control highlight flares, lowers the image sharpness and reduces skin imperfections and blemishes. So I personally think it's pretty important if you want to vlog with the Pocket 3. There's also the expansion adapter for $19, which adds a cold shoe and an action camera mount. So the cold shoe is used for attaching accessories like an external microphone, if you're not using the DJI microphone, and also a light. So it's pretty nice to have if you intend to rig out your Pocket 3. As for the action camera mount, it's basically like the GoPro finger mount. And so you can see it here, it like sticks out in the back. There unfortunately is not a way to flatten it. So I wish it was foldable, but if you do want to use it, I think the best way to use it would be to use it with a GoPro backpack clip or something like that so that the camera can be right here and you can use it hands-free. Next, we have ND or neutral density filters for $59. So it includes this little case plus three filters, ND16, ND64, and ND256. Now they attach magnetically to the front of the camera just like the rest of the filters and lenses here. And the function of ND filters is to darken a shot if it's too bright. ND filters are also useful for shooting long exposures to slow down the movement of water or clouds, and also when shooting cinematic settings to get the right amount of motion blur in your shots. Now this is a super subtle effect, but technically cinematic settings are when the shutter speed is double that of the frame rate. So in my case, my frame rate is 60 frames per second, so my shutter speed should be about a 1 1 20th of a second. So typically if you do this on a camera, it results in an overexposed or super bright shot that's also unstable. So you'll need ND filters to balance out the light. And on most other cameras, you also have to add a gimbal for stabilization. But the Pocket 3 already has a gimbal, so it's really ideal for shooting in these cinematic settings most of the time when used in combination with the ND filters. And the fourth accessory is actually not even brand new. It's actually been out for a while, but it's the DJI 30 watt USB-C fast charger for $19 to help you speed up the charging time of your camera. So is the DJI Pocket 3 Creator Combo worth buying? Well, let's do some math and try to find out. So you can buy most of these accessories separately. So if you were to buy the standard combo to get the camera, then you can also spend a little bit more to get these separate items if you think that they're necessary. So the wide angle lens would come out to be about 49 US dollars if you buy it on its own. The mini tripod would be $16, the battery handle would be $69, and the carrying case or the bag would be $35. So that's $169 right there, which already covers that cost increase between getting the standard combo and the creator combo. But there's actually one item here that we don't know the value of. The price isn't out because you currently cannot buy the DJI Mic 2 transmitter on its own. So the value of these added items is actually more than $169. But do you actually need all of these extra things in the creator combo? So starting with this carrying case, you know, it's nice to have. I wouldn't say that it's necessary, but it is a bag that was made specifically for the Pocket 3 and all of these little pieces here. So I would say that you might need it if you do have a lot of extra accessories. But if you just have the camera by itself, you know, it does come with that protective case, which gives you space for the filters to store nicely. And also the transmitter can be stored on the case. So you don't necessarily need the carrying bag too. It is nice if you need it. Next up is the mini tripod. This again is a nice to have, but I wouldn't call this necessary because you can get a third party version that can be a lot taller. It can also extend. So again, not necessary, but nice to have. 
Next is the wide angle lens. Now this probably isn't necessary for all of you out there, but for me personally, I like having a wider field of view or FOV, especially since I like to vlog with the camera and I also tend to shoot in places where I want a wider angle shot of, you know, cityscapes or landscapes. So I would deem this necessary. Next up is the battery handle. Again, I personally think that it's necessary because if you want extra battery life on the go without having to stop and recharge your camera, this is really the only way to do it. So you might actually want to pick up, you know, one or two of these extra if you plan to go all day shooting with the Pocket 3. And finally, we have the DJI Mic 2 transmitter along with the windscreen and the magnetic clip. I do think that this is essential if you need perfect audio and you don't already have a wireless microphone kit. This is an audio test of the DJI Pocket 3 using the built-in internal microphones, no external microphone attached. But now we will add some external microphones to hear the difference and to verify that they indeed work. So now I'm using the DJI Mic 2 transmitter, just verifying that it is indeed connected. Uh, again, the benefit of using this is that it not only comes with the creator combo, but it also has the receiver built into the camera. So there's no extra pieces that you have to add. You just turn the transmitter on and it automatically connects to the camera and you can start using it right away. Next up, we're testing out the original DJI wireless microphone system. I've got the transmitter right here. And even though you do have to plug in the receiver to this camera, it's not really that big of a deal because you don't need any extra accessories. And I can also plug in the receiver to other cameras to use this microphone with them too. And finally, we're testing out the Rode Wireless Pro. So I have the transmitter down here and I have the receiver connected to the camera. It is definitely harder with the Rode and pretty much any other mic system that is not DJI, just because you know I can use that USB-C cable to attach the receiver, but I also have to get that expansion adapter to add the receiver to the camera, otherwise it's just hanging out insecurely. And it's just a little bit bulkier, and so it's less inconspicuous. And so it does work though. So that's what we're testing out here. So looking at these two essential items that come with the creator combo, if you were to buy them separately, they end up being $118 together. And so it's not quite worth getting that creator combo if you don't need that DJI mic too, because even though we don't currently know the value of it, it seems to be what's adding to the bulk of the cost of the creator combo. So now I want to finish off this video by talking about a few other must-have accessories if you get the Pocket 3, regardless of which combo you get. So the first would be a memory card, because the Pocket 3 does not have any built-in storage. I would recommend getting at least 128 gigabytes, or maybe even 256 gigabytes, that's what I currently use, to be able to shoot with this camera without worrying too much about resolution and how much space is left. Next, I'd also recommend picking up a lens cloth for the camera and also any filters that you have because this little camera up here can get a little dusty and so it doesn't come with a lens cleaning cloth. So you definitely wanna have something to keep that camera lens clean. And also, you know, the back touchscreen here, things get a little dirty on this camera. So it's nice to have some way to clean it off. The final thing that I recommend getting for the DJI Pocket 3 is DJI Care Refresh Insurance. So this might sound a little salesy, but you know, seriously, this camera, you know, I'm used to filming with action cameras, which are pretty much indestructible, and I don't necessarily recommend getting insurance for action cameras, but for this camera, I do recommend getting it because it is very easy to damage. Not only the camera and the touchscreen that could get broken, but also the gimbal. Like, I don't wanna to touch it too much, but like it is on the fragile side. So very easy to break it. And if you do break it, then you would like some way to fix it or replace it. And so DJI Care Refresh is one of the best and easiest and honestly pretty affordable ways to do it. So there's actually two options. You can get a one-year plan for $35, which gets you two replacements, or a two-year plan, which gets you four replacements for $55. This insurance covers water damage and collision coverage. You know, there's not a lot of details about what that means, but basically if you get it wet or you drop it, your camera would be covered under that insurance. And each time you get a replacement, it does cost an added $35, but you know, there's no added shipping fees round trip. So, and it's also really fast turnaround. There's like a three day turnaround time if you do have to send it in and get a replacement. And so if you do want to get that insurance, you have to do it within 30 days of activating the product. So just keep that in mind when you're buying this camera. 
So those are my thoughts about all of the current DJI Pocket 3 official accessories. You know, I'm sure that there will be more accessories coming out by third-party vendors like Ulanzi, Smallrig, Telesyn, Freewell. I've already seen a few come out on the market, but I'm sure that many more are coming. So I will do a follow-up video of additional Pocket 3 accessories once there are more to talk about. But yeah, those are my thoughts about the initial accessories that came out. You know, I've been using this camera plus these accessories for over a month now, and they've all held up really well. Like, I do think that they're worth the extra cost because even the accessories, like the camera's not cheap, but neither are the accessories. So you're paying a little bit more of a premium for them, but they're all very well built, they're reliable, they've been working out really well, and so I would recommend pretty much any of these accessories if you think that you need them. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments below if you're planning to get the Pocket 3, and if so, which of the combos and accessories did you end up buying for the camera? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.